get started, we're going to double click on the Bird Brain Robot server and open the plugin. From here, you're going to notice that the Duo, Hummingbird Duo, is connected. You're going to click on Open Scratch. Check out the More Blocks tab, and you're going to see the green light there. If your circle is not green, that means your board is not properly connected. You're also going to notice my favorite feature as I double click on these little icons. See here, I double click on the distance sensor and I get a reading. The sensor values are actually reading live, which means you're going to get a live readout. Now we're going to build a little program just like we did in our Scratch um, with it using our Scratch tutorial. You can refer to some of our other Brilliant Labs tutorials. In this one, I'm just going to kind of pull a few blocks in so you can see how they work. You'll notice the HB in front of each of the blocks. That stands for Hummingbird. So the first one, we're going to turn the motor on. The motor's on port 1 for a speed of 50. The next line actually turns on a tricolored LED. So we're going to bring that down. And now I'm actually working on an if statement because I want to use some data that I'm getting from my sensor. So I'm going to pull in my sensor knowing that it's going to give me a number value. And I'm going to say, hey, if that number is less than 25, let's turn that motor off. And you'll notice when I put the speed to zero, that means off. Because I want my sensor to be always checking and always updating, I'm going to drop that in a forever loop. And this little line of code, again, we went through that rather quickly. That little block of code is actually what we need to create a program that starts the motor and stops when something gets next to the sensor. So that's just a little sample of programming in Scratch. 